Hi, I'm Warren from Zigzag Dance Factory. Oh, shit, I do that Hi, I'm Warren from Zigzag Dance Factory. Uh, I'm also, uh, I can't do it, let me start again. Hi, I'm Warren, I'm the owner of Zigzag Dance Factory. And uh, we also have our own TV show on Netflix called Baby Ballroom. Uh, today, we are taking some of the Zigzag Dance pupils from our formation teams to a zoological petting zoo. We've got a picnic, some games, and we're going to pet animals. I don't really know what it's like. Don't even know what animals. <laughs> no, I don't even know what animals could be. I think there's an otter. There's an otter, that's um, it, there's one otter. It's a bit cloudy. I don't know what it's going to be like, but we're going to have a bit of fun. And it's just a bit of a different day. Cool. Just as context, that's my dad. <laughs> expecting this one. Right? Uh, <clears throat> We're just meeting everybody outside. The wild zoological No, city zoo. City zoo. City zoo. So we're just waiting now, got our little games, got my balls. <laughs> and uh, my badminton. Badminton and Christmas. One of these. Down here. Yeah. Got the sticker so we know you're part of the school trip. <laughs> Oh, your foot, all your feet are in demand. It's nice, it makes it look like he's wearing a pair of glasses. It's very simple. Oh, Jay. Dad, volunteer. Don't want me. I don't know if you've gone to Woody Grimm's Festival. Well, should we do that again, Billy? So he's also got pivotable back ankles. As you watch now, when he comes down, you can actually pivot them to help him when hanging upside down. Before so he prefers to eat meat, or say prefers, he's supposed to eat meat. <laughs> um, he loves to eat fruit. fruit. So that's why I'm just giving him bits of banana and bits of grape, those favourite things to eat. You know? Too interesting. Too interesting. We're currently in an emu enclosure and there's wallabies as well. There's an emu right there. Dad liked the uh, binturong, whatever that was. What, what a pal a pal and binturong? I'll include pictures. They do use beast and stuff. And there's nothing. Imagine if they put a mirror. <laughs> it is a mirror. <laughs> is it? Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> These frogs are so tiny. They don't look real. Hello. So we just uh, we're just leaving the uh, petting zoo. So it was a petting zoo. We didn't really pet much stuff. <laughs> it was more of an actual zoo. We did well. Yeah, we did. We did pet some stuff. Yeah, we did pet some stuff. 
It was more of an actual zoo though, they had like lots of different animals which I'm sure I'll probably edit in. What was the highlight for you dad? I think the bird show, which I didn't really think would be very exciting, but as he was swooping down, it was absolutely spectacular. So many birds and colours, and uh, the the uh, the host was really entertaining and funny. Yeah, and the uh, host was it was good. a real highlight. I didn't really have much expectation. I thought it would have been one of the best days we've been out on for ages. Yeah, it was really good. Really liked it. I really like these little uh, black things called mama sets. They were like tiny little monkeys. They had really funny tufts coming out of their ears. <laughs> I really like those. Were they the ones who just kept licking the bottoms all the no, time? No, those were lemurs, Dad. <laughs> yeah, we uh, went into a lemur enclosure and all they did was lick people's shoes. <laughs> it was really weird. I'm glad it was just the shoes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it just went really well like there were no big upsets apart from a small child who stood in a bog <laughs> in the first time 10 minutes because <laughs> it's important to get those bonds outside of dancing because if you only see someone when you're going to be dancing with them it's going to be a bit you know you're going to get that feeling when you see them <laughs> like oh it's time to dance oh, yeah. you were the one in the bog <laughs> yeah <laughs> all that the zoo itself they do a lot of stuff towards the conservation of animals they donate a lot of money they work hard they do breeding programs for it so it's really nice to see yeah, one thing i noticed that i'm sure wouldn't have been mentioned like 20 30 years ago was that they made sure to tell us that the animals were well looked after how they looked after them why an animal looked like it did like we saw an albino snake and they explained to us that snakes are, are not meant to look like this but this one was a rescue so it was really good and interesting and it was good that they made sure to mention things like that as well. And everything, all the animals looked happy, they were, had loads of space and freedom. It was good. It just seemed like they were in their natural habitat, didn't it? Yeah. Apart from it's Wolverhampton. Apart from, yeah. <laughs> Apart from the fact it's Wolverhampton and not Australia. Apart from that, it's good. <laughs>